To set up your Appium development environment on Windows, you will need to download and install the following software. Oracle Java SDK, JetBrains IntelliJ IDEA, Android Studio or SDK, Node.js, JavaScript Runtime, Appium Desktop or Server, and Git for version control. To install the JDK, search for JDK Download and click on the following link. We want Java version 8, so scroll down and click here. Accept the license agreement and choose the download appropriate for your operating system. In this case, I'm choosing Windows X64. Once the download is complete, click on the JDK installer. Select Yes. And when the installer opens, select all the defaults. Click Next. Note the install location under Program Files. And once the JDK installs, it will also ask you to install the JRE. Go ahead, note again the install location, JRE instead of JDK this time. Click on Next and let the installer run. Java will be used for writing our tests in IntelliJ IDEA, which is also written in Java. Android Studio, which we use to launch Android emulators, also uses Java. When the installation completes, click on Close, and now you're ready to attest your Java installation. Once the JDK has been installed, open a command prompt to test it out. Type java-version, and you can see that Java has been installed but it's not executing from the JDK path, which is at C colon program files java slash JDK 1.8.0 underscore 161. The binary is at slash bin slash java. And the Java compiler is at the same location. What we want to do is set an environment variable. Grab this path. And at the command line, type setx java underscore home, all capital, and then the path. Open your environment variables in the control panel. Under system properties, advanced, environment settings, you can see we have java home set. Also, you can see that java home slash bin has been added to the path. Close your environment variables. Close the command window. Open a new command window to see that it's working. Type where Java and where Java C. You can see that they're now available in the path. Your JDK is set up and now you're ready for the next step. To download IntelliJ IDEA, go to jetbrains.com slash idea slash download and select the version for your operating system, in this case Windows. Select the Community Edition to download, or you can purchase the Ultimate Edition. Once IDEA has downloaded, click on the installer. Click Yes, and accept the defaults. Next, note the location. Next. click install. We will be using the IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition for this workshop. It's open source and free to use, but feel free to use your own IDE if you're more comfortable with Eclipse, NetBeans, or something else. Click finish when it's done installing. Launch idea, scroll through 
the license agreement, reading it carefully, and then accept the terms. You've now installed IntelliJ and you can configure it to use the JDK that you've installed previously. You're now ready to create a new project with IntelliJ IDEA. Click on Create New Project and under Project SDK, select New and choose the location of your JDK. Click Next. And give your project a name. It will take a moment for your project to initialize. Select your project. Select your project and the source folder, and you can create a new Java class. To download Android Studio, search for Download Android Studio or go to this link, developerandroid.com slash studio. Select the version of Android Studio for your operating system. If you scroll down, there's a list of each version for Windows, Mac, and Linux. In this case, I'm choosing Windows. Accept the license term, scroll down, reading it carefully, and then click download. So it has downloaded. Click on the installer. Click yes. And when the installer comes up, accept the defaults. Click next. Install Android Studio and Android Virtual Device in Program Files, Android, Android Studio. Click Install. It will take a while to install Android Studio, but once it's installed, we're also going to install an Android emulator, which can take considerable time to download as well. Once Android Studio has finished installing, click Next and Finish. We want to start Android Studio because we also want to download an Android emulator. If you have existing Android Studio settings, you can import them, but I don't, so click OK. It's now downloading information about the emulators. Welcome to Android Studio. Click Next. Choose a standard installation. You can choose a light or dark theme. And go ahead and click Finish. Downloading these additional resources for the Android SDK can take considerable time. Be patient. Once Android Studio has started, click Configure and open the SDK Manager. You can see here we have three tabs, SDK Platforms, SDK Tools, and SDK Update Sites. For SDK platforms, this is where you select emulator versions. We want to install Android 8. Click OK. Accept the license agreement. Click Next. 
and finish. Now we want to open the SDK manager again and make sure we have all the tools we needed installed. Click on the SDK tools tab. Make sure you have Android SDK build tools, Android emulator, Android SDK platform tools, and Android SDK tools installed. If not, check them and go ahead and download. You also want to have the Intel x86 Emulator Accelerator, the Haxam Installer, installed. This allows your emulators to use the hypervisor on your CPU. For Windows, this may need to be enabled in the BIOS. On Macs, it is enabled by default. Now that we have Android Studio set up and the emulator installed, we're ready to begin and go on to the next step. We need to install Node.js to run Appium Server. To install Node.js, go to nodejs.org and download the current version available for your operating system. Windows, Mac, and Linux binaries are available. In this case, I'm going to choose the Windows 64-bit installer. Once it's downloaded, click on the installer. Select Next. Accept the license agreement. Next again. Note the location. Next, we want to install Node.js, NPM, and add it to the path. Click install. Click yes. And click finish. In order to test that Node.js has been installed, open a command window and type node-v. You can see that it's installed under program files. And now we want to install Appium. Type npm install appium-g for global. If you see an error like this, you may need to reinstall in an administrator command terminal. This error about Python can be eliminated by installing Python first, but is not necessary. Once you've installed Appium, go ahead and start it and allow access. Appium server runs as an HTTP server similar to Selenium server. Now, Appium is listening on localhost port 4723. You can check that Appium is running by opening a browser and going to this URL. So Appium server is installed and running. To install Appium desktop, open a browser and go to appium.io. Click download Appium. It will take you to the release page on GitHub. We want the current version, 1.3.2. You can choose an installer for Mac or Windows. So I'm going to choose the Appium Setup 1.3.2 EXE installer. Once Appium Desktop is downloaded, go ahead and click on the installer. Once Appium Desktop has installed and it launches, it will look like this. You can actually start Appium Server from the desktop app, again allowing access for your Windows firewall. Appium Server is listening on localhost port 4723 and the current version of Appium is 1.7.2. You're ready to go. You have Appium Desktop installed, Node.js with Appium Server, Android Studio, IntelliJ IDEA, and the Java SDK. We need one last thing. To download Git, go to gitscm.com and click on Downloads. Choose the version for your operating system, Mac, Windows, or Linux, and click the download link. Once Git has downloaded, click on the installer. 
click yes. Look at the Nisons and click next. Next. Once Git is completed, click Finish.